Uh, today I would like to talk with you about uh, a Clipper on Neptune 4 Plus. As you know, it's not a standard uh, Clipper, it's a special uh, Lego compilation. If you try to uh, update it, you will break uh, the Clipper and uh, we can fix it. There are mainly three ways to uh, solve this problem. Uh, the first one is to contact uh, Elegus support and uh, uh, ask them to send you a new uh, card with the operating system. Uh, Elegus is using EMMC cards uh, and on the card uh, there is an operating system uh, with a Clipper installed. The second method is to remove the card from the mainboard of the printer and then uh, using a special uh, adapter, USB adapter uh, and MMSC adapter, uh, connect it to your PC and install a fresh uh, operating system on it. The image you can get from uh, Elegus support, they will uh, provide you with a link. And the third method I uh, use to solve uh, my problem with the printer is to restore uh, the configuration files and installing the Clipper uh, using uh, an update package uh, from Allego. Uh, to do it, we need to go uh, to Allego's uh, page. Uh, there is a, a list of uh, supported firmwares. Uh, so we are on the Allegus page. I'm going to, I'm selecting my Neptune 4 uh, Plus printer. There is a firmware section and uh, you have two uh, versions, English version and the Chinese version of the firmware. I'm downloading the uh, English version. To speed this up, I already downloaded it and I would like to show you what is uh, inside the zip file you can get uh, from uh, Allegus. Inside this zip file, uh, you can find uh, two uh, folders. Uh, the first one is an update package uh, with the new firmware and the second one is a repay package uh, uh, for your uh, printer. We will be using both of them. Uh, uh, first of all, we will install the update package and then the repair package but uh, stay tuned uh, i will show you all the necessary steps to do it first of all let us see inside the repair package if you have a look on it it's like a standard lego update dear uh, folder inside it's the same uh, like uh, you have uh, in a standard update uh, package and there are there's a deb file and a tar file i uh, copied this file and extracted it the tar file is a kind of archive and inside you can see that there is a, a file structure which is already on your printer when you have a look on the uh, to the home folder there's a mks user and uh, the configuration files for clipper fluid moonraker and so on so everything what you need to restore the system is inside uh, uh, this folder first of all let us uh, copy the configuration uh, files of the printer uh, all the folders you need to copy i will uh, uh, put in the uh, video description to do it i'm uh, logged in uh, to my printer you can use putty or ssh client uh, of your choice it's your decision uh, i'm starting midnight commander i'm logged in as a uh, MKS user with the maker base password and what we need to copy are the following files clipper config clippy env moonraker env and uh, printer data you need to create a folder uh, in the main uh, directory like uh, let's do it right now just uh, f7 and then you need to enter back backup a folder just uh, press enter and just uh, with uh, f5 uh, copy uh, those uh, configuration uh, files i won't do it right now because it's uh, a quite uh, easy step after doing it uh, we are ready uh, 
to start uh, working on our solution so but before we do it i would like to show you some interesting thing um, Lego is using a, a, a clipper installation update helper script. It's Kiauch. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. It's very interesting uh, stuff with this one. You can uh, you can uh, update uh, clipper, install clipper, and uh, so on. If we go uh, to the browser, back to the browser, you will see the um, uh, git uh, repo of the uh, Clipper installation and update helper. If you are interested how uh, this stuff works, uh, you can go uh, to this page and see how you can install a Clipper with it or configure it. But let's go back uh, uh, to terminal. If, uh, what we need to do right now is to completely remove a uh, clipper a uh, fluid and moonraker uh, from uh, the system to do it just uh, we'll use the update script just invoke uh, the kiauch sh script from the kiauch folder I will just show you how to do it. I won't do it uh, to uh, avoid breaking uh, my, the OS on my printer. Just don't update anything. Just go there and you will see there is a clipper installed, Moonraker and uh, Fluid. We need to go to the uh, press free. Uh, it means remove and then remove clipper, Moonraker and Fluid. I won't do it right now. I will press uh, uh, Q to um, uh, go back. And after removing it, we need to do uh, some uh, necessary steps. Uh, those steps will be removing uh, the configuration uh, files of the printer. There are the uh, files which were created by the Lego. So if we go to Visual Studio, I prepared a list of the files uh, after uh, removing uh, Clipper, Moonraker and Fluid manually uh, using uh, the uh, Clipper install update uh, helper script. We need to remove Clipper config, printer data, Fluid uh, uh, config and Moonraker env. Uh, we are doing it with the sudo rm minus rf uh, command. I will put the commands inside the uh, video uh, description. After cleaning up uh, the OS, removing Clipper, Fluid and Moonraker, we need to prepare the USB stick. Just grab the USB stick you got from uh, Eligo this 8 gigabyte uh, USB stick and uh, if we go uh, to our download uh, folder uh, we got uh, we saved the uh, the firmware update files from Lego we just need to take the first one and uh, open it and the Lego update needs to go uh, to the uh, USB stick Please be careful that there shouldn't be any Lego update there in the root directory of the USB stick. This one is the first one, this one from you. With this one, we will, uh, uh, we will update uh, the system on your printer. To do it, just uh, copy this uh, folder to your USB stick, connect it uh, to the printer and we can uh, easily uh, access uh, the USB stick uh, from the command line in uh, uh, terminal. Uh, right now I will show you how to uh, install uh, all of the packages. I won't be doing it on my printer because I don't want to break it uh, like the last time. So after inserting the USB stick, uh, you uh, can uh, reboot your printer like uh, entering just typing sudo reboot. After rebooting the printer, uh, your USB stick will be, you can access the USB stick uh, uh, using this command. We will just want to install 
the Lego app dep package using uh, sudo uh, dpkg minus e it means install debian package manager install and you are entering the path to your usb stick uh, the usb stick is mounted under gcode uh, files sd1 then after uh, installation is done i just reboot uh, the printer with sudo reboot and then go back to your download folder with the packages from uh, elego uh, connect the usb stick to your pc and uh, remove the old elego update folder and copy the content of this uh, uh, repay package with the Allego fix back dip uh, file uh, to your uh, printer. After doing it, we you connect it to the connect the USB stick to the printer and then execute the second command. This command, uh, both uh, commands, uh, you will find in the video description. So with this one, we will uh, fix the file structure of the printer. The first command installed a, a Moonraker and Clipper. The second one will uh, restore uh, the uh, default file structure. When it's done, please reboot uh, it. The last step would be to install the Fluid because the Fluid won't be installed uh, with the uh, uh, fix uh, uh, dep package from Allego. I don't know why, but it's, it's not working. So uh, just go uh, uh, to uh, uh, to your SSH client, Putty or some other uh, client, log in as MKS user with the MakerBase password and then execute the uh, Clipper install and update a uh, helper script. There you can install a, a Fluid. So let's have a look on it. We will go to Terminal. and inside terminal we will invoke this script no i don't want to update please don't update and then if we press one uh, you need to uh, enter the password maker base uh, you have following options in in my case uh, fluid is already installed but you, you will uh, choose a uh, four just to install a uh, fluid and you will get uh, the fluid on your print and when it's done go back then quit and we are ready to go so let's go back to my visual studio and uh, after installing uh, fluid just uh, go to the Moonraker uh, uh, folder. There is a script folder and execute sudo fix sh. We need to fix the uh, access rights to the folder which were uh, restored uh, with a Lego fix uh, back uh, package. Uh, I don't know why, but Moonraker uh, wasn't starting uh, out of the box. The service wasn't accessible after uh, reinstalling it. So I re-enable uh, re it with disabling the uh, Moonraker with a system control and then enabling it. Uh, when you are done with it, just uh, reboot uh, your machine with sudo reboot and uh, everything should work out of the box. You will see that the uh, screen uh, uh, is showing the uh, Allegos uh, logo and then after some time you will get your standard menu. If something is missing, when you log in uh, using uh, your browser to the printer and you will see some strange message that something is uh, broken, uh, uh, some file is missing, you can uh, see all the files, uh, you can get the files from your update uh, folder. Uh, let me have a look here. Uh, from your update folder you got from Allego, like I said, there's this repair package. Uh, just open the tar file, e extract it, and all the missing uh, files should be there, like 
when the clipper config is missing, uh, something is not there, just uh, copy uh, those files to your USB stick and access it uh, using midnight commander from uh, uh, your printer and uh, replace the missing on or add the missing file uh, to the proper uh, folder like clipper config. So uh, that's all. I hope uh, you will be able to fix your printer on your own. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate uh, to put a comment below the video. I will try to uh, respond as soon as possible. Uh, like I said, all the commands will be available in the, in the video description. Uh, that would be all. Please uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and have a nice weekend. Bye.